everyone, Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. I am so excited to share with you today how to convert those fabulous Stampin' Up! framelits and how to change them into embossing tools. What do you think? I hope that you can see that on the video and how we have some beautiful just uh, embossed raised images there using our framelits. Let me show you how to create the shim so that you can be using this same tool at home. Okay, we're going to need three things to be able to accomplish this today. And most of these are probably things you already have laying around your stamp room. So how about that? The first thing that we're going to need is Stampin' Up! chipboard. Now, if you've purchased any of Stampin' Up!'s Glimmer paper or maybe our specialty designer paper, you know Stampin' Up! treats us to some very nice chipboard. Now, it protects our paper in transit, but boy, I sure love using it for a chipboard, and it is perfect for this shim. So this is the gray, heavy, kind of thick cardboard that comes with our Glimmer paper and our designer specialty designer series paper. So we're gonna need that. I've cut that down to six by six. Now, in our standard designer series paper, there's a white, kind of more of a, just a cardboard backing. Now, if you don't have this, you know, a cereal box will do just fine, but we want just standard cardboard, okay? Not something quite as thick as this one. I've cut it down to six by six as well. And the last thing that we're going to need is a Stampin' Up! silicone pad. Now, you guys know we have typically used these when we're working with um, hot glue. But you know what? It's exactly the tool that we need to be able to do our embossing. And don't we love it when we have a second use for some of our products? Okay, this is so easy. We're just going to take our chip, I mean our cardboard, and I'm just going to use the Anywhere glue stick. I love these glue sticks. If you guys have not invested in them, I guarantee you these are not your toddlers, your preschoolers, glue sticks. They're really nice and um, they turn just about anything that you adhere together. Kind of, kind of turns it into cardboard. I love it. So we're just going to adhere those together. So there is my shim. Now this is what's great you guys. This shim is going to last you forever. You're just going to keep reusing it over and over again. So now that I've got my shim done, I'm going to take that silicone mat and lay it right there on top so we're good to go. Now before I get really started, let me go ahead and bring in my multi-purpose platform for my Big Shot. I do not have a bottom cutting plate here because this shim is going to act as my bottom cutting plate. So there's my shim, there's my silicone pad. Let me just bring in a piece of cardstock and I'm going to be using the oval framelits, uh, but I got to tell you, any framelit will do. You can make, you can do a single embossed image, you can do a double embossed image, a triple, it doesn't matter, whatever makes you happy. Now you notice I put these on here, oh this is so important. Make sure those cutting blades on your, on your framelits are face up. We do not want to cut through our precious little silicone pad, so big, big uh, note write it, maybe even write that on your on your little shim here so that you don't forget. You always want to make sure that those blades are face up. Now we are going to come in with a cutting plate and put that right on top after I've got that all set. And I'm going to bring in my Big Shot because I do want you to see how this works. So I'm going to go ahead, run this through. One thing, um, I don't know if you can really see it on the camera, but it takes no effort. And you might even think, ooh, Connie, that didn't do anything. So let's go ahead and take this apart. And there is our beautiful embossed ovals. What do you think? It's so easy. Now, one other tip I do want to give you when using this technique, um, every Big Shot is a little bit different. So go ahead and try this first and test it with um, just some scratch uh, cardstock. Make sure you're getting um, a nice embossed image that you haven't accidentally maybe cut through because it was a little too thick. If you find out that you're not embossing enough, you might add a sheet of copy paper first or if that's not enough, then add a piece of cardstock if you feel like you need to. Um, I found when I tried to add cardstock, it actually started to cut through my paper. So you do want to start as minimal as possible. Don't glue anything down until you're sure you've got your shim made. That'll work perfectly with your Big Shot. 
So here's a card that I made using this technique. You can see there's my there's my little embossed oval. And um, I've got uh, several cards that I'm going to be teaching you using this technique, but I wanted to make sure I definitely taught you how to use that shim. So I hope you enjoy um, using that. I hope you enjoy creating that shim and um, using your framelits in a whole new way. Now listen, all the products that I used on um, creating this can be found at www.simplysimplestamping.com. And be sure to check out my website. Lots of new ideas, lots of fun things waiting for you. And I hope to see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.